Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former President Donald Trump just got a massive assist in one of his legal cases. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So former President Donald Trump, you know, has been dealing with several cases. You got Alvin Bragg, you got Letitia James, you got Fannie Willis, and of course you got Jack Smith. Now, it seems like the judges in all these cases, except for one, are really doing everything in their power to make this as tough on Trump as possible. That one who's not, well, that's Judge Eileen Cannon in Jack Smith's classified documents case. And it looks like everything she's doing is assisting Trump in getting a delay in this trial. What Jack Smith is arguing is that if Trump becomes president again, he could then hire an attorney general who fires Jack Smith and ends this case completely which I think would probably happen. And so Jack Smith is terrified of that because Jack Smith doesn't want Trump to be president again. And he certainly wants him, I, in my opinion, to at least pay for his quote-unquote crimes. So this is terrifying news for Jack Smith. And it's terrifying news for the media. I'm going to show you a video of an absolute freakout over this by CNN. And I want, you to let me, I want you to let me know what you think about it when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Great to see you. Sure. Thank you. Special counsel Jack Smith did something bold, right? He challenged Judge uh, Cannon before her ruling. And uh, while she has ruled the case should proceed, is it your feeling the Presidential Records Act argument is coming back? Yes. Um, so, Frederica, even a first-year law student after reading the indictment, would know that the Presidential Records Act, I'll call it the PRA, has no bearing. It doesn't even apply to this case. This is a case under the Espionage Act. So the PRA says that presidents are to return presidential records at the end of their term, but they can keep personal records like journals. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump is using the PRA to lay personal claim to these highly classified documents. The PRA was put in place after the Watergate scandal not so that presidents could unilaterally designate government documents as their own personal property, but for the opposite reason, to ensure government documents remain in possession of the government. So Judge Cannon initially ruled that Presidential Records Act did not apply. But within days of making that order, she reversed herself, and she ordered the defense and the prosecution to send her proposed jury instructions. That suggests that she's still open to the PRA defense, which again has no bearing in this case. So why would she do this? Mm -hmm. um, she's doing this. One, it's delay. But secondly, she is sending a direct message to Donald Trump that she's in his corner. Mm -hmm. She is basically saying, um, I'm open to this defense and you can maybe I'm going to bring it up during trial. So in response, what does Jack Smith do? He says, all right, Give us a ruling now, a definitive ruling. Are you going to allow the PRA as a defense or not? And she has declined to do that. Yeah. So if she waits long enough and they see the jury and then she decides, oh, I'm going to allow the PRA, yeah. there's nothing the prosecution can do about it. Wow. OK, that's fascinating. So the, the word ahead could be a, a very tenuous, bumpy one, potentially. So now let's talk about the New York. Right. And just oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just add one other thing? Yeah. So. You know, the, the, the.